Well, you are lucky. I'm lucky. We're going to get a preview of the new Aviator inside the Milk Studios here in Hollywood. Come on along. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the all-new Aviator. As you can see, the Lincoln Aviator showcases the very best that Lincoln has to offer. It is infused with elegance and power. Elegance from ultimate craftsmanship and advanced technologies woven into a seamless luxury experience that only Lincoln can deliver. Power driven by a twin turbocharged V6 engine mated with advanced electrified hybrid technology for effortless, seamless acceleration and a quiet feeling of gliding over the road. It's a feeling capturing the name Grand Touring. Now to tell you more about that and share the Lincoln Aviator design story, please welcome Lincoln Design Director David Woodhouse. With Aviator Grand Touring, we're bringing back the art of performance, driving with elegance in an updated form. You'll recognize the Aviator Grand Touring by blue accented badges on the fender and the blue windowed Lincoln Star on the grill. This blue was matched to what used to be the Lincoln V12 badge of old. Behind the Lincoln Star today is a twin turbo engine assisted by quiet electric motors. Engineering enabled design to express the beauty that we envisioned for this, for this vehicle. In turn, design sought to express engineering's performance achievements in the overall proportion and gesture of the vehicle. The interior experience of Aviator is really epitomized through a new black label theme appropriately called Flight and really influenced by aviation inspired items such as Bell & Ross watches. It's the first time we've ever offered a twin turbocharged engine along with an electric motor that contributes nearly instantaneous torque. The responsiveness and, and re responsive electric motor is built right into the transmission architecture. We call this a modular hybrid transmission architecture. And it's similar to designs of some of the other luxury and performance brands. However, in Aviator, they combine to create more than 100, 450 horsepower and more than 600 pound-feet of torque. That's a lot more than what you're going to see from, say, BMW X5 hybrid, Audi Q7 hybrid, even the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport hybrids. With plenty of reserve acceleration, Basically, you get constant performance in almost any condition, regardless of whether or not you're plugged in. I also have new technology in front of me, the adaptive LED pixel headlamp technology lighting my way. What's great about that is I can use it for speed-dependent lighting. I can put longer distance views ahead of me while I'm at high speed, or wider views to illuminate elements while I'm at lower speeds or approaching intersections. Aviator also enjoys a new technology we refer to as the air glide suspension. This replaces our traditional coil spring suspension with independent dual chamber air bladders. What's great about air glide is that it not only smooths the ride in front of you, but it also offers some helpful preset ride heights. There's a showroom height that actually lowers the vehicle slightly when the vehicle's parked so that the aviator looks sleek even when it's at rest. As you approach, your aviator lowers further. It actually greets you as a part of an enhanced element of our Lincoln signature embrace process, but it also makes it easier to get in and load cargo. When set to deep conditions, now the aviator will rise to its highest position for better ground clearance and capability. And yet at highway speeds or in excite mode, the aviator is going to lower for improved aerodynamics and performance. Aviator also offers adaptive suspension with road preview. There's a forward-looking camera behind the rear view mirror. It enables a number of features. One of them is road preview. This system is literally scanning the road ahead of you to seamlessly adjust the vehicle in advance of items like potholes and speed bumps. Within about three meters to the vehicle, now you're in what we call the welcome zone. That's where our signature Lincoln Embrace is going to start. Once you get within about one meter of the vehicle, now you're in the passive entry zone. All you need to do, reach out, grab the e-latch handle, and effortlessly open the door and get into your aviator. 
Tesla and some other manufacturers have been using a pretty wide range relative to unlock and start, and it's caused some headaches relative to the concern for their customers. We're confident that this is the most secure and reliable phone as a key. When I get in and start driving my new aviator, what I notice in the windshield is a head-up display. What's great about it is it's got the biggest and brightest display in the industry. It's also one of the few that allow you to wear your polarized sunglasses and still see the image. After being welcomed aboard, you'll settle into your perfect position seats and put your hands on Lincoln's next generation steering wheel. The 30-way perfect position seat with massage capability was a hit with Navigator, and we're making it even better on Aviator. We're giving front passengers wireless charging for their smartphones. And not just that, we've included power points throughout the entire cabin so all passengers can arrive at their destination fully charged. We also have 4G Wi-Fi that will allow up to 10 devices to be connected at the same time. Also with the Waze integration, you can use Waze in the center stack to make navigation easier. And there's Tidal. We've all become accustomed to relatively poor quality, compressed audio files through iTunes. Tidal now delivers richer, higher quality music and is the brand of choice for audio files. Rebel has the technology to unlock the full depth of that music so you can hear it as the artist originally intended. Speaking of Rebel, we're also taking it to the next dimension with Rebel Ultima 3D audio system available on Aviator. This recreates an authentic concert hall-like experience by surrounding you in rich, superior sound. It does this with, over tw or with 28 speakers throughout the cabin, including speakers in the headliner. So many speakers, but actually, audio quality is a huge part of a new aviator. The first signal that you've entered your sanctuary is with the symphonic ch sounds by the Detroit Symphony Orchestra welcoming you. You heard these chimes earlier as uh, Joy started off the, the program. It, for the first time, real music replaces the electronic chimes for everything from an open fuel door to an unlatched seatbelt. Three there are three levels of informational chimes. We have non-critical, we have soft warning, and we have hard warning chimes. They're all musical alerts for about 25 features. The Detroit Symphony Orchestra musicians use percussion, mostly marimba, with violin and viola to create these sounds. And we'll go ahead and listen to them now. This is just one small way to make Aviator feel a little more warm and welcoming. <laughs> 